Hey guys, Gary here with VW Jawbreaker. I had somebody ask me, hey, when you redid Joel's engine, why didn't you use the case that he had? At first glance, everything looked like it would be okay. But then again, as you further inspect things is where we started finding issues. So let me reset the camera. I got his case here on the bench. Let's dive into it and I'll show you what's going on. All right, guys, welcome to the bench. Here is the engine case that uh, Joel was using in his Volkswagen bus. Let's bring you a little closer over here. And here's where we're going to start pointing some things out. So as we've known, stamped over here on the case, this one's been thrust cut and line board already. Right, let's move you over there and check that out. Then line board 20 over, thrust cut 40. So that's once over line bore, one cut thrust. Okay? So it's been line board, it's been thrust cut. Now you have standard 20, 40, 60 over. So you can line bore three times. However, you can only thrust cut twice okay and if you start looking here you can definitely see your oil journal but well, the problem is that's not smooth this is not smooth at all and back here that is definitely ridged up at least a millimeter or two it's definitely got some wear on it so because of that we know it needs to be line board not a problem. It's only been line bored once. I measured it out. Second line bore will be fine. Here's where we come into the problem. When we go here, let's reposition you again. Sorry, guys. All right, let's zoom in a tad. All right. So when you measure from this point here to back here, that gap on this top lip, not down here, this top lip, all right, that's your thrust. Stock is 0.865. A first cut is 0.825. Second cut is 0.785. So we'll take our zero it out. We're going to measure this right there. Let me lock it for you. Yep. Yep. Hold on. There we go. Right there. Okay. What do we got? 0 0.7575. 0 0.5. I'm sorry. 0 0.7575 is less than 0 0.785. So that means even though it's been thrust cut once, if we thrust cut it again, we can't. We're already below the minimum spec. Okay, what causes this thrust issue, you can see there, the bearing hole has been kind of wallered out. Let's back up a tad. So you put this in there, this bearing just moves back and forth. See that? Okay. That bearing should be in there tight. And then you'd have your three shims that would go here. Your flywheel will go here, and that would set your in place. So every time you push that clutch in, you're pushing pressure, okay? This is normal wear. The problem is, once it starts to get out of control, your in place starts getting worse over years of use. If you do not address it, that's when you'll start having case issues. So unfortunately, this case is pretty much junk. Um, I do not know anybody that can fill this up and you would actually need somebody that can weld magnesium very well. You could actually fill this all back up, re-thrust cut it. Again, here in Florida, not in California, 
it's just one of those things. I mean, yes, it can be saved. Is it worth it? Not really in our area. So this will go into the scrap pile and who knows. So anyway, I hope this uh, helps solve some questions regarding thrust and what that is and why this engine case we didn't use and why it's pretty much junk. Anyway, you guys have a great week. Enjoy. Catch you on the next one.